We are now in Shantytown. This is the first part of the area, so I'm gonna put it as Shantytown. So as soon as you start Shantytown, you'll end up right here. And you have to kill quite a lot of bad guys before you continue on. So as soon as you kill the bad guys, drop down to where you started, and you'll notice this new challenge called Lay to Rest, and you have to burn and pull over the gun. When you call them. Anyway, yeah, that's one of five. So from the last location of the video, um, yeah, just behind the downed helicopter. Helicopter. You need a shotgun. There shouldn't, really yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Move up. All right. Alright, after that one, it's going to be Relic 1 of 4. But there is a total of, uh, I think, 7 Relics in total. Also, feel free to, um, if you haven't got the uh, kill 10 flying animals and loot them, you can get some here. I'll be the heat spot if you run away and come back. You should get it. So go back where you came from. Then you want to do is jump up here and the relic will be inside the building right next to you. But you have to go around the building first just to get inside the building. So if you run through here, then you should see a ledge you can find. The right side of the building. So there's the um, relic. And the document will be higher up. So there's the um Relic here. <laughs> and just one floor up, you will notice the document right above you. So just leave the building. Edo, Japan, traditional. You notice the ledge you can climb and then pick up the document. Methodic. <laughs> So this is now Relic 2 or 4. As you know it's already, um, I've already got the Relic marked out one to go. So once you leave, you want to jump out and just jump all the way down to the bottom. So this is where you found the first challenge of the elephant card thing when you call it. So, if you're looking at it right now, go left, go down this corner here, and you'll find your Relic. Notice the box, which will contain the relic number two. In row, are usually lacquered okay, wood. The next one will be the um, elephant god looking thing. Later, red challenge, so it's three or five now. I'm going to get so as soon as you leave, as soon as you get round here, you want to stop and look up, and you'll just about see it. There we go. Make sure you cross your um, fire arrows. There we go. Now just pull it over. That will be three or five. There is more than five in this area as well. So there is more than five in total. So if you do happen to miss some, well, two, I say, don't worry, but you should already get them anyway. So, in that last location, all you want to do now is just drop down. Do not jump up like I did, just drop down. Well, this is where I thought the eye crack no not eye crack deep in but it wasn't so pick up the EPS and carry on document 2 and 3 are right next to each other well I, I wouldn't say right next to each other but they're in the same area together so as soon as you drop down I don't know why I killed the ball but I but it gives you 8 XP so so climb this area here, and go inside, so the document will be right in front of you right now, 
So you can grab that one, go left, and say, so when you jump over, you have the pull down now, and the document be on the table. So from here, look left, and just drop down. There's the document number three. All documents for this area. For this area of Shanty Town. Okay, two. This is GPS. Five. Two or five, sir. Go left, and you'll find your GPS. You need shotgun ammo to um, shoot the barricades down. There we go. Move on. GPS was your find the relic. Make sure you have shotgun ammo because you need it. This might be you and dining. Alright, here we go. GPS 3. In the last location. To be honest, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. It's part of the um, YouTube thing we have to talk through for most of the video. Go climb the stairs. Jump up. Take a right. And you'll find the GPS. So the next one will be. I can't read the writing just yet. Ooh, another GPS, look at that. So from the last location, go outside, turn right, jump across, and you have to shoot this barricade to make sure you can the video. I run out. Alright. I thought it. I thought I thought. Right, okay. From the last location. Go back out, down left. So you'll go right, sorry, not left. Up the stairs. Jump up here, go left, jump across here, shoot the take a left, and there's a relic, the final relic of this area of Shanty Town 1. The Ming Dynasty Jade figurine. Okay, the next but this one, one looks genuine. The challenge complete. Uh, for, no, not sorry, not complete, but. Actually, yeah, it will be. After you get number four, then you get number five. Right after. So shoot the um, elephant guard thing. Pull over. That one. Right, from the last location, all you need to do now is just turn around and you'll see it in the distance. There we go. Shoot it. I tried to rope um, arrow it, but it doesn't reach that far. So just get a little bit closer, then you should be able to pull it over. There you go. There's no more things to collect. But I do show you a couple more in the next day if you haven't got the challenge complete already. So GPS part. So where you pull the um, challenge over, I believe you drop directly down where it is. Oh no, my bad. I stick with the wrong one. Never mind that shame now too. So yeah, go to the temple here. You'll get ambushed. Oh, the ambush. Be careful! Don't damage the altar as an intruder. Try to attack you. Yeah, I left this uh, video in here just to show you I picked up a rifle piece, but I shouldn't really show you where they are because um, if you keep looting the chest, you will find. More than well, there's not only four. There's a, quite a lot of um, parts, so it's not just four for certain. If it was just four, I would have tried for it. So that will be three parts for the rifle. I just thought I might show you that. But I'm not sure it's going to be at the same location. So now we're going to head back into the um, temple, and as soon as we um, get our rope bow out. Pull this um like There you go. Another this. sacrifice. Oh my god, what's driven them to this? Then drop down into the tomb. We're now officially in the tomb, so we need to do it. So right, once you carry it on through the tomb, so this is from the GPS location, so just carry on. Then eventually you will get inside the tomb, the main area of the tomb. This is where you'll be. Okay, this challenge is pretty damn easy to figure out. So for this one, 
All you need to do is get that um, elevator thing. You call it. Just weigh it down with the gas. Or where the hell the inside is. So I think if you chuck a little bit of there, it should load it down all over the bottom. And just watch the rest of the video, it's easier enough to do. Okay, that's Welcome back to Shanty Town 2. There is only two documents in this area, and that should count up a total of five documents. So here we go. From the starting location of Shanty Town 2, you want to go down, but keep on the left side. You do not, do not want to slide down. Well, you can if you want to. It's easy to get back up, but it's too much hassle. So don't do it, mate. So stay to the left. Keep going left until you see a door. Turn left again and you'll find the document. So I didn't put a number on this challenge because we've already done it. So lay to rest. There is quite a few of these about, so if you haven't got the challenge, feel free to shoot them. If not, then just you don't get, you don't get absolutely nothing from it. So get no XP, nothing before. Okay, GPS one of ten. Woo! So yeah, so when you're following the um, objective marker. You go across this bridge here. So about halfway across the bridge, jump over the bridge and drop down. And you'll find the GPS right next to some beer bottles and whatever. So after you have defended yourself, this will be a challenge called Silencer, four alarms you need to destroy. So after you try to get up the ladder where um Grim is it didn't work, you get ambushed. Then you'll notice the um, enemies will sound these alarm. Do is just destroy the alarm and you're done. You need four to do them, so they're not too difficult to find, but I'll show you where they are. So from the start location of the challenge for the science side, so climb back up the um well you shouldn't be climbing up anyway, so you should see a fence on here, go through the fence, go halfway across the bridge once you and then drop down. After that, you want to climb up, go left across the bridge, and you'll see the only building kind of area in front of you here. There's a relic. There's only three relics, and that will tally up with seven relics now. This so, in row would. So we found the relic. Challenge is laid to rest once again. It's optional. You can begin it if you want to. You have got the challenge. If not, just to you don't get happy for it. Well, I wasn't leaving it out, but I know some of the bitch that I haven't got in there, so... I think so. so, GPS 3. From the last location, after you get the challenge, you will notice a climbable wall right there. Go past it to the right-hand side. Usually access to this GPS. I have no idea how to get in these areas without the shotgun. I believe it's only the shotgun available to get in these areas. If you don't have the ammo, then continue on with the video and just uh, come back as much as you can get after you're done. So from the last of the first 
from the last location of the GPS. Just climb all the um, ledges until you get here. Climb the stairs, go left, up the little stairs, turn left, and climb the little ledge here. Let's walk here. As soon as you climb up, you'll notice the second alarm. Take care of. So, so I've done it. So I kind of missed the first two alarms. I didn't notice them. So from the starting location of the GPS, or you could say the starting location of the alarm, so climb the wall again. Do the same procedure as you did before. So once you get to here, do not climb any further. Just go up the stairs, but do not turn left. Ignore the stairs. Go across the little bridge here and take a left. Once again, you'll need the shotgun and ammo to get the fucking barricade. So shoot the barricade down. <coughs> Alright, the next one will be a GPS. So this last gold location, lack leave the building, turn left and keep going left until you can't turn left no more. As soon as you get to a stopping point, you'll notice the GPS on the floor. Here we go. Turn left, keep turning left. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. That's 9 or 15. GPS 5. Now we want to do is now climb to the next level. Right now we'll climb up. Very close to here. You will get ambushed by quite a few guys. Take care of them. Just know that there will be a challenge for a day to rest. Right in front of you didn't notice it on the video. I didn't get that just yet. So in here, if you've got a shotgun ammo right there, there'll be a GPS in that room. So as I didn't have no shotgun ammo, I didn't have no GPS just yet. Left it. But it's up to you. If you want to get it, we'll just leave it until I actually get it properly. It's entirely up to you. So the GPS will be behind this, um, not a well, just a crappy one. So from the GPS, documents are underneath the stairs. Go down this way and left, and you'll be underneath the building. There's the documents. No more documents. This is a lie. Now we've got five in total. No more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So this is the last relic, and once again, no more relics to find. This will tell you up to seven relics. So from the documents, turn right and turn right again. You'll notice the relic box on the counter. It's a ceremonial. So oh, GPS 6, from the last location. Go up the stairs and next to where you found the relic. Go into this, um, I don't know what to call it, cave entrance, not cave, but tunnels or whatever you want to call it. Climb the only stairs there, as soon as you climb you'll notice a shiny object on the ground, pick up the GPS. So this is where I get the late to rest challenge, as I tell, well, I won't say tell you, but I'll first see what I'll do with that. Feel free to have a relay to rest if you need to get it. Now I'm going to go. I've done this earlier. Once again, you just burn it before it happens. Before it happens. So from here, we're now going to get the silence of the challenge. So this will be the third alarm. So I'm looking on the map. I could have actually bloody ran to this, but I didn't. So from the later rest, what you need to do is go to the right hand side and go just drop down and turn left. This is where the alarm will be. So it's not far from the later rest, that's what I've done previously. So from the challenge for the alarm, drop down, you notice the GPS. Okay, this is the um the GPS um one that I couldn't get behind the barricade. And I still couldn't get the bloody thing behind the barricade. So what I did was the video, I had I still got no shotgun ammo, but I didn't realise until so let you know it's in the video, but if you keep looking down the bottom left, you'll notice the ammo it gives you. So if you get stuck somewhere behind a barricade like I'm doing right now, I just want to get to the challenge. I thought I had to read the checkpoint or something, but I didn't. Look at that, there's the ammo, look at it. Good to you, I need the ammo. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do if I didn't um and shotgun ammo. So yeah, there's the GPS. I've already used three to break some barricades. So challenge snipe, snipe challenge silencer. So what we're gonna do here is climb the um, ledge that I ran away from. 
Get it, feel free to get it. If not, then wait until after the tomb challenge. So, GPS 9, and it'll be inside a tomb. So, once you get close enough to the tomb, you'll just see it's discovered. So, the tombs are not that bad to find. So, go into the tomb, and then eventually run into the tomb. Once you get around here, you'll notice the number 9 GPS. So, now, all you need to do for this challenge for the tomb, and also the treasure map is optional, not optional. you have to get it. And well, it's part of it too, so it gives you it. So, all you have to do here Some kind of is get four of the um, gasoline cans. The Solari have completely taken, taken over, over the old places, places of this island. So, first of all, you need to get the uh, gasoline cans. So, you need three total on one ledge to break it. To break the two ledges. So, from here, you need your rope arrow. Shoot the um, rope there, pull it, and it will swing into the bridge and on the platform. Now, remember, it's three gasoline cans, or whatever they are, onto one platform, then that platform breaks. So you got to put weight on the bridge. Oh, I keep calling them all the So once again, you need three... These carvings are old. Three Hundreds of, of years. One now. Oh, heads is what you want there, so you only need to chuck two. And I've tried to jump up there, but I'm trying to try do that. So all you need to do now is chuck one more up there and the uh, platform will break. And that will get you your um, four gasoline can, wherever it's inside it. And yes, I missed both throws. Eventually you will be right. Now all you need to do now, where the ramp is, I'm going to show you, hopefully show you the video if I didn't cut it out. I'm sort of trying to show you where you need to go. So this platform here, that moves, that will keep the gasoline can right where I'm going. So all you need to do now is grab all the four gasoline cans and place them on this edge here. So I'm going to skip the video now so you don't really want me to put, oh, I don't want to see the four gasoline cans there. So now it gives you enough um, time to run and jump to grab all the walls. Now just go right to the very end of the tomb and you'll find your chest will contain the treasure map and you'll get a um, oh. maybe 2, 000, well, 1,050 XP. All of these places are built on ancient ruins. Shantytown.